I think I was able to just reproduce this problem I'm having with the looper, so I thought I would uh, quickly do a, a recording of it for the Instruo guys. I, I just recorded a five minute loop onto the reels uh, in with linked mode. Recorded in the five minute audio, I uh, did the re-trigger, erase, record, two seconds, hold to save the data. Uh, turned off the rack, waited about 10 seconds or so, turned it back on, and now you see the loops are playing the five minute loop at the speed they're going, but we're not getting any sound out. Uh, here's my outs. Uh, it's not getting any audio out. Um, I'm not seeing anything on the on the meters down here on outs. There's a little, little VUs down here. So I, I think this is the this is how to reproduce this problem. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back through the steps to record by uh, by first pressing the erase button. It, I've noticed it takes a few times to actually convince it to erase, which I'm not sure why. Retrigger erase, then then a single erase. It seems to work. Eh, eh. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way. That's not what I understood. This in the manual, so I'll leave that in there just so you could see it. Let me turn on the audio on Pro Tools. You may not hear it because that's actually the other problem I have is once it gets into this funky state like this, you don't hear any any audio. Let me move my audio loop into the recording zone. All right, so I've thrown an audio clip in. Uh, you see the audio lights are blinking, so you know that audio signal is coming in, but we're not hearing anything coming out. And the consistent thing that I've learned here is that you have to erase first, then shut off the rack, or un you know, take the power away from Looper, and then turn it back on, and then you'll hear audio through the monitoring loop again once it boots up. So let's wait for that to boot. All right, so I'm gonna turn up my volume and you see there's nothing on the reels. And now here's my audio loop playing in Pro Tools. It just hit the, the beginning of the audio loop so now you can hear it. And so at this point, I can hit record. And of course it records fine. When it gets done with the five minute long reel, it will play it back again. I won't make you sit through the whole five minutes. So I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll cut this part out. All right, here comes the end of my loop. It's about five minutes and 30 seconds. So I end the loop and now you're hearing the playback. And so right away you hear something's weird because it's only set to run at normal speed yet it sounds twice the speed. until I jimmy that around. So at this point, I'm gonna hold the retrig and erase and hold record and save it to USB again. There it goes. Now the other one. Sorry for my hands in the way. So now they're both saved to, to the USB. So now theoretically, I can turn off the rack, turn it back on, and it will load that from the USB, right? Let's see. So I think this is where my reproduction of the problem is. And I'm hoping someone tells me I'm just a newbie and don't know how to use it. So we're booted back up. Volume's up. I don't know if anybody's moving. So 
Let me wiggle the, the pot here, see if we can get it to move. But see how there's no sound again. And then even if I go drag this loop forward again, hold on a moment. So you can see again, the audio input is coming in, but there's still no audio out. So I think that is the entire problem, possibly. I hope this helps figure out how what I'm doing wrong, <laughs> if anything. All right, thank you, that's all.